They all look bigger, stronger, and faster than they did um, before we hit it. So, uh, Coach Day is a difference maker in our program. Um, he's a unicorn in this profession, and our guys are lucky to have him. So, I know that he put them through some intense uh, adversity training, is what we can call it. But uh, uh, I know that our team will be tougher for it physically and, and mentally. So, um, we'll see how that translates in fall camp. Coach Bain was talking about what culture means to him. And he said one of the things is it's how you feel when you walk in the building. Mm -hmm. So, for you, how, how do you feel when you walk in the building? I feel grateful. Um, I feel the, the presence that I think Coach Beamer is trying to establish here. And it continues to grow. So, um, you know, I feel the positive energy that he talks about. And I, I think our players are beginning to embody that. And I feel like that will make a huge difference for us in the future. What does a successful first week of practice look like? Obviously, the new staff, a lot of new going on here. So, for you guys, what's a successful first week? Well, I think hopefully we, you know, you hit the ground running and you haven't taken any steps back from the spring and from a, a lot of work that we did this summer. Our guys put in a lot uh, of work this summer and got better, feel more comfortable with the offense. Uh, we're progressing mentally to where we're not having any mental errors. We know what we're doing now. We're not asking what the play is or where do I line, but we're up there and, and we can think about playing fast and uh, and also that our, our individual technique is, is progressing as well. So um, those are things that we'll be excited to, to measure tomorrow. It is. It's a dream come true for me. Um, I've always wanted to do this and to be um, hired in this position I'm, I'm extremely grateful for. And um, But I've got a job to do, and that's to get these guys ready uh, for that first game here in, in less than a month. And so um, I'm, I'm excited. It's moved from transitioning to, to pure excitement, and I can't wait for uh, these guys um, to experience success here because a lot of them, you know, they haven't really felt what it – you know, me and Coach DeMarco were talking about earlier about how – crazy Williams Bryce gets when our team is be, is is playing well and uh, and and beating a, a really good opponent we've both been there and seen that and a lot of these guys have not so I, I want that for them I want them to have those memories that I had and I know he feels the same way Do you allow yourself to start looking ahead to what it's going to be like that first game home opener night big atmosphere Do you allow yourself to start thinking about what it's going to be like for you back on the sideline and what it's going to be like um, I don't know if I'll be in the box or on the field. So, uh, no, I haven't really got there yet. But um, I'm certainly – it feels like uh, that's a real thing now instead of kind of spring practice where you're just working towards something um, uh, a little more vague. So, uh, I know that my whole family's got circled on their calendar and, uh, and so many people in the state of South Carolina do. So, I think that the, uh, the beginning of the Shane Beamer era is going to be very exciting for Gamecock country. Well, there's just one pass I threw one time, so uh, that one's certainly up there. But no, I mean I have so many. I, I think I figured out I've probably been to somewhere around 120 to 140 games in Williams Bryce in my life um, because I've always lived here in Columbia. So I think back to that 1992 game against Tennessee where Hank Campbell stuffed the two-point conversion. My grandmother took me there. Uh, I think of watching Steve Tannehill play under Brad Scott's offense that first year. Uh, of course, the time of, of, of the turnaround when I was there with Coach Holtz going from 0-11 to 8-4 and, and then 9-3. and I was just talking to our guys about having that experience. Uh, and then just being a fan in the stands when we beat Alabama in 2010 um, and some of those exciting games. So I've got a lot of them.